The history surrounding the first black women's newspaper is a lesser known gem. In 1892, prominent black female journalist Ida B. Wells spoke at a fundraiser which Josephine St. Pierre Ruffin attended. In 1893, Josephine with her daughter Florida established the Women's Era Club of Boston, which was the first black women's club in the city and one of the first in the nation. Other black women's clubs also sprouted throughout the country to address topics such as suffrage and civil rights. These black women's clubs were inspired by white women's clubs, which were not as inclusive. In 1894, Josephine of Florida created the club's and the nation's first ever newspaper for black women, titled The Women's Era. It was an illustrated monthly publication that was exclusive to Boston until it became nationally circulated that same year. The paper published articles for social etiquette, women's suffrage, club gossip, and health and beauty from exercise. The paper also had a series titled Eminent Women, which showcased interviews with female activists like Victoria Earl Matthews. In this same section, they criticized women like Frances Willard. In the early 1890s, the Women's Era poll revealed a desire by its readers to nationally organize black women. In 1895, President of Missouri's Press Association, John Jacks, sent a letter to Florence Belgerny, the British Anti-Lynching Society secretary. He opened his letter with, I speak so far as they are concerned and desire, and to mention some of the characteristics of the downtrodden race to which you seem so devoted. The Negroes in this country are wholly devoid of morality. He also criticized Wells' anti-lynching work and wrote that black women are prostitutes and all are natural liars and thieves. It is characteristic of their race. They are naturally lazy and exist off the bounty of the whites. Belgarney sent this letter to Josephine and she published it for a call to action for the first national conference of colored women, which happened in Boston in that same year. The editorial's response to the letter read, the letter of Mr. Jack to Miss Belgarney is a denouncement of the morality of colored women of America. In her address at the conference, Josephine said, This hurried, almost informal convention does not begin to meet our needs. It is only a beginning made here in dear old Boston, where the scales of justice and generosity hang evenly balanced, where the people dare be true to their best instincts and stand ready to lend aid and sympathy to worthy strugglers. It is hoped and believed that from this will spring an organization that will in truth bring in a new era to the colored women of America. During this conference, the National Federation of Afro-American Women was established to uplift black women through middle-class domestic values. January 1897 marked the end of the Women's Era newspaper. While its era came to a close, this paper had a big impact. It was a newspaper by black women, for black women, and it played a huge role in uniting them on the national level for the cause of defending black womanhood.